The sense of taste has been a great mystery to many scientists. It was the miracle of the microscope that finally allowed scientists to examine the tongue in more extensive detail. Upon examination, the tongue was found to have many sensory regions, known as papillae, scattered on the surface. The three papillae are valate, foliate, and fungiform. Each of these has a taste bud on its surface that is sensitive to one of the four basic tastes, sweet, sour, salt, and bitter. The valate papillae are grouped together and formed a V-shape on the back portion of the tongue. They are responsive to the bitter and sour tastes that are present in various foods. The foliate papillae are located on either side of the tongue, just above the valate papillae. They are also sensitive to sour traits of food. The fungiform papillae are the most abundant. They cover the tip and outer edges of the tongue. These papillae are responsive to the sweet and salty tastes that are distinctive in many foods. The papillae we've just discussed contain what are known as the primary taste buds. It is important to note that there are many taste buds scattered throughout the mouth and throat, but these buds assist the primary taste buds in determining each particular taste. In order to understand how the sense of taste is achieved, we must examine the taste bud itself. A taste bud is made up of various cells. The cells of each taste bud are regenerated by one of the three cranial nerves every 10 to 14 days. Some of these cells function as receptors, which are responsible for sending chemical information regarding substances in the mouth to the brain. Each receptor cell has a unique shape. Specific chemicals from foods must match the shape of each receptor cell in order to trigger a signal to the brain. This is known as the lock and key principle. The signal from a receptor cell will travel from the nerve ends up into one of the three cranial nerves. It will then pass on into the central nervous system where regions of the brain stem will decode the chemical information into a distinctive taste. It is also important to note that the sense of sight and smell work collectively to heighten the marvelous experience we know as taste.